Hello and welcome to our COM Research video by Will Corr, Terrence Travis, Aaron Miller, Katie Castro, Michelle McKelvey, Michael Silva, and Gianni Massaro. For our project, we chose to research how Twitter affects an artist's album sales. In particular, we focused on how Twitter affects an artist's position on the Billboard 200. We found that all of the members in our group were strongly interested in social media and music. In addition, we each had a particular interest in Twitter. This topic is important because social media has become increasingly important with our generation. To find albums for our research, we took a stratified sample. We decided to choose 20 albums from five different genres, including pop, rock, country, hip-hop, and not listed. We made sure that all of the albums we chose were released between the months of May and August. We then coded 50 tweets from each artist. Our first hypothesis stated that an artist's genre is directly related to the Billboard 200 peak position. Our research supported this hypothesis and further implicated that hip-hop and not listed were significantly higher than country, pop, and rock on the Billboard 200. Our second hypothesis stated that the number of times an artist tweets per day is directly related to the Billboard 200 peak position. This hypothesis was supported by showing that the more times an artist tweeted each day, the higher their album placed on the Billboard 200. Our third hypothesis stated that the number of times an artist tweets per day is directly related to the number of followers an artist has on Twitter. Our research supported this and further explained that the more times an artist tweeted per day, the more followers they had on Twitter. Our fourth hypothesis stated that an artist's ethnicity is directly related to the number of followers they have on Twitter. This hypothesis supported this statement, and we found that black artists had more followers on Twitter than white artists. Our fifth hypothesis stated that an artist's age is directly related to how many followers they have on Twitter. This hypothesis was supported, and our research showed that younger artists had more followers on Twitter than older artists. Our sixth hypothesis stated that the number of followers an artist has on Twitter is directly related to their Billboard 200 peak position. Our research supported this hypothesis. The more followers an artist had on Twitter, the lower they were on the Billboard 200 charts. Our seventh hypothesis stated that an artist's gender is directly related to the number of followers they have on Twitter. This hypothesis was supported and our research showed that female artists had more followers than male artists and bands with female and male artists. Our eighth hypothesis stated that if an artist retweets a fan's tweet, it is directly related to the number of followers that an artist has on Twitter. This hypothesis was proven through our research. Our, result, our results showed that an artist who constantly retweets fans causes that artist to have a lower number of followers on Twitter. Hypothesis 9 stated that if an artist directly replies to a fan on Twitter, it is directly related to the number of followers that artist has. This hypothesis was supported and we found that artists who do not reply as frequently tended to have a greater number of followers on Twitter. Our last hypothesis predicted that the genre of music an artist belongs to is directly related to the number of followers they have on Twitter. This hypothesis was supported. Hip hop and not listed had more followers than country, pop, and rock artists. In conclusion, our research proved our group's assumption that Twitter and album sales had an existing relationship. Our results showed that a bond between fans and artists has become increasingly important, and Twitter, Twitter enables that connection. We also found that female artists and younger generations tended to use Twitter more efficiently. Lastly, hip-hop proved to hold the strongest presence in today's society with the greatest fan base on Twitter. We found that our research tactics had both strengths and weaknesses. Our strengths included incorporating many variables to avoid confounding variables. All members in our group were very familiar with our topic, which led us to be interested in our research. With these strengths came a few weaknesses. First, we only considered albums that were released between May and August. Only two ethnicities were represented, and we did not use a random sample, which would have eliminated all biases. If our group were to reconduct our study or pursue further research, 
we would change a few things. First, we would include albums from an entire, ca entire calendar year to broaden, pro <laughs> broaden results, use a random sample rather than a stratified sample, and code for promotional tweets versus personal tweets. All in all, our study showed that 140 character allotment on Twitter holds much more power than meets the eye.